Could this be the most beautiful place in Nevada? Hello, Wonder Hussy here. You know I've been to some beautiful places in the great state of Nevada. But I've never been to the one place that's generally considered to be the most beautiful place in Nevada until now. This is Lamoille Canyon, carved by glaciers in the beautiful Ruby Mountains, which are also known as the Alps of Nevada. Just south of the town of Elko, uh, in what I guess you would call North Central Nevada, the Ruby Mountains rise up from the sagebrush plain super dramatically with the highest peak, Ruby Dome, an incredible 11,388 feet high. Which is part of the reason I came up here. It's mid-July, the rest of the state is something like 157 degrees, but up here in Lamoille Canyon, it's a cool, hmm, 70-ish? The Rubies are also the wettest mountain range in Nevada, which is why everything is so, well, relatively lush and green, and, well, <laughs> why it looks like it might start raining any minute. But the main reason I came up here is to see for myself if Lamoille Canyon really is the most beautiful place in Nevada. I mean, they call it the Yosemite of Nevada, and I'm curious to see for myself if that's true. I camped here last night at the side of this beautiful creek at the base of the canyon. And just based on this, I'm starting to believe the hype. Okay, so basically, Lamoille Canyon is a really nice paved 12 mile scenic drive. It goes all the way up and dead ends at the top of the canyon there. And along the way up, you pass three campgrounds where you can camp. Okay, well, I got here on a Sunday evening and I think every single campground was booked solid, but that's okay. I don't like staying in campgrounds anyways. I prefer dispersed camping, which is like boondocking, just camping off in the wild somewhere without picnic tables and barbecue rings. And well, you know, you gotta use a shovel. Now, this Lamoille Canyon Road is technically a national forest road, which uh, I think is legal to camp just off of any national forest road unless it's otherwise marked no camping. And this road isn't marked no camping, but just there's not a lot of places to pull off and, uh, and camp other than these campgrounds. But I was lucky because just, uh, just outside the first campground that you pass, Camp Lamoille, there's a dirt road that runs, well, I guess it'd be south, down canyon from the campground. Little dirt road that leads to a bunch of boondocking sites right along the creek, and that's where I stayed. Anyway, uh, I just finished packing up camp, and I'm ready to go exploring and find out for myself if Lamoille Canyon really is the most beautiful place in Nevada. Okay, first stop on our tour is this beautiful scenic overlook that kind of talks a little bit about how this canyon was formed. So this sign here just kind of explains what a glacier is, which pretty much everybody knows what a glacier is. It's just a big mass of accumulated snow, according to the sign, compacted during hundreds of years by changing temperatures and increased snowfall. As glaciers slide downward, they grind away projecting slopes and cliffs. And these are evidenced by the jagged, serrated mountain edges. And so this sign just kind of talks about how these specific glaciers carved this canyon. I guess there's Lamoille Glacier and Right Fork Glacier. And it says back around uh, 250,000 BC, these glaciers merged and extended downstream to the mouth of the canyon. So I guess that would have been Lamoille Glacier and that would have been the Right Fork Glacier. But then it says here, 215,000 years later, so what is that, 35,000 years ago, a warm period came, melting the glaciers. And well, basically the long and short of it is, 
we ended up with this spectacularly beautiful canyon, which I'm already starting to agree with the general consensus that this is kind of like the Yosemite of Nevada. It's interesting because I was reading uh, reviews on Google of all things about some of the hikes here. And this one guy goes, well, it's beautiful for Nevada. Uh, I mean, I take his point. I'm big Nevada booster, but you know, a lot of Nevada is a subtle beauty, you know, sagebrush plains and sand dunes and such, which I personally find absolutely spectacular. But most people, when they think of beautiful landscapes, think of this Ansel Adams kind of stuff. And well, this certainly fits the bill. All right, I had to put my little rain shield on just in case it does start raining. Got my pack strapped on, got my hiking boots laced up. Let's go for a hike. Oh my God, this really is amazingly beautiful. There's fog shrouding the top of the mountains. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna hike that high, but I'm not sure. Let me look at this map. So what's really cool is this is part of a whole uh, trail system called the Ruby Crest Trail, I guess. It goes for like 32 miles, okay, Ruby Crest Trail. But I'm not going to do anything that hardcore. I'm just going to go up to Lamoille Lake. It's a, I think it's about two miles, hour and a half. And then along the way, we're going to pass these dollar lakes that are supposed to be really pretty too. Oh my God, look at these. <laughs> I'm from the desert, y'all. I don't see this kind of stuff too much, especially not in Nevada. Uh, hmm. Well, maybe they were right. Maybe this is the Yosemite of Nevada. One thing I can say for it is, unlike the real Yosemite, you don't need a reservation to come here. Whew. One thing I should mention is this trailhead is at almost 9,000 feet. <laughs> That also probably explains why it got so chilly up here. I mean, my car said it was only like, I think 63 degrees in the parking lot <laughs> in mid-July in Nevada. One nice thing about hiking up here is I feel like I don't have to worry about ticks. I don't think there are deer ticks in Nevada yet. So that's one thing. Another thing, there's no bears in these mountains. Another <laughs> edge this place has over Yosemite. I mean, there's bighorn sheep, pronghorn antelope, mule deer, uh, some kind of bird called a snowcock, <laughs> and probably mountain lions, but no bears. You know, another thing that's really cool about these mountains is it's one of the only places in the Western United States where you can hella ski. <laughs> okay, I'm not a skier, but I guess if you're really into backcountry skiing, you can take a helicopter. In fact, the helicopter picks you up down in the little tiny town of Lamoille, which isn't even really a town. It's like a bar, a restaurant, a church, <laughs> and apparently a resort for hella skiers and they fly you they chopper you all the way up to the top of the mountain and then they drop you off and i guess you just kind of make your way back down on skis again i'm not a skier but whew, that sounds pretty cool <laughs> Oh, wow, hooray, blue skies. <laughs> well, that'll just make me even hotter, but it'll just make everything seem that much more beautiful. I felt kind of bad that I got here on an overcast day because, well, you might not be able to appreciate, as I am, how spectacular this place is. Come on, sky, cooperate. Don't you know this is for YouTube? Oh, wow, look at this view looking straight down the canyon. I bet we're coming to an amazing overlook. Okay, wow, here's the view <laughs> of the whole canyon. Wow. <laughs> you can probably see the scenic drive winding down there through the middle. 
and about seven, eight miles down is where I camped. And then beyond that, all the way at the end, is the town of Elko. I'm actually going to Elko myself tomorrow. I'm gonna treat myself to a hotel room. <laughs> That's right, I've been camping in my car, traveling around for four days now. And I have a feeling that, well, especially after this hike, <laughs> I'm gonna really need a shower. <laughs> Holy crackers, that is pretty majestic. And I definitely see where the Yosemite comparisons come in. Like that craggy stuff at the top reminds me of, well, kind of reminds me of Mount Whitney area or the area above Mammoth Lakes. Very reminiscent of the Sierras. <laughs> this place is like a little mini Sierra, a little baby Sierra. Holy cow. Okay, we came to the first of three lakes that we're gonna be seeing on this hike. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this lake. It's just beautiful. And then look what's behind it. <laughs> wow, this is straight out of the friggin' Sierra. Crystal clear water, nice sandy bottom. If there weren't so many people around, I would go for a skinny dip. But I'm not gonna stick around at this lake too long because I did read online that it said, don't be lured in by the, they're called dollar lakes. Don't be lured in by the dollar lakes because supposedly Lamoille Lake is even more spectacular. Oh my gosh. I think this might be the second little dollar lake. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Beautiful little Alpine Lake. But I can't stop. I gotta keep going because Lamoille Lake is even more beautiful. Or so they say, anyway. <laughs> but I don't know, man. It's hard to imagine anything more beautiful than this. I mean, for Pete's sake, even if they say I shouldn't stop here, I just have to. Oh my God. Okay, I think we're finally coming up on Lamoille Lake. I'm pretty sure if I climb this rock face here, it'll give us a perfect overlook. Let's see if it's as beautiful as they say. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, holy moly. Wow. <laughs> oh, there's somebody skinny dipping. I love it. Oh, man. Remember I said I wanted to skinny dip, but I was afraid there'd be too many people around? Well, I guess this is the kind of place where it's okay. Okay, this is going to be real cold because this is <laughs> snow melt, man. Glacier water. Woo-wee. Feels amazing. I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> Boy, am I ever alive. <laughs> Brr. Woo. Nothing like a skinny dip in a melted glacier to make you appreciate having a jacket. <laughs> uh, actually, it's not that bad. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to sit here and have my lunch on the banks of beautiful Lake Lamoille, which, by the way, I don't know. What do you think? Were they right about this being more beautiful than the Dollar Lakes? Hmm, I mean, they were right about this being the Yosemite of Nevada. And they were right about the rubies being like the Alps of Nevada. Were they also right that this is the most beautiful place in Nevada? Hmm, I don't know, what do you think? I mean, for reference, and just in case you forgot what we were surrounded by. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty spectacular. But is it the most beautiful place I've been? I mean, oh gosh, I've been to so many beautiful places in the great state of Nevada. Is this the most beautiful? Gosh, it's like trying to pick your favorite kid, you know? Uh, I guess what I would say is, and this is just my opinion, but... In my opinion, Lamoille Canyon is the most beautiful place. 
in Lamoille Canyon. <laughs>